Dear students, welcome to another session on Introduction to Biostatistics. We familiarized some important terminology in biostatistics, variable, attribute, parameter, population, and sample. This session we can discuss two other terminologies, census and sample surveys. Surveys, you have got to know these terms several times. Surveys. Surveys are used as a tool to collect data. In the beginning of the session itself, we discuss statistics is nothing but the collection of data. It's the first step of the statistics, the collection of data. So surveys are a tool used to collect the data and information from some or all units of the population. We discuss what a population is. Population is a collection of individuals. So we have to collect the data of something from a unit of from all unit of population and combine valuable information about the entire population. That is what is called surveys. And there are two types of surveys. One is census, second one is sample surveys. These are what we are going to discuss today. So let's see what census is. This is a very familiar term. Census is nothing but the counting of the entire population at a specified time. See the last part at a specified time. That is very important. Census is nothing but the counting of the entire population at specified time. See, how is collected? It can simply be defined as a periodic collection. Periodic collection means the entire process is done at a particular interval. That is what is called periodical. Means there will be a particular interval period in between two census. Otherwise, it will not be census. So census is a periodic collection of information from the entire population. What information? Maybe anything. The countries conduct census periodically as a constitutional requirement. That is the term or that is the census that comes to our mind when we hear the term census. But census can be done for anything, for, uh, for collecting any data from an entire population. Let's see what are the uses of census. Census data are commonly used for research and planning. For any purpose of development or planning or research, we have to collect the data from the population. For this purpose, we can use census methods. Data collected through census are most vital for government for division of monetary resources among various sectors. You know, a government plans a lot of developmental and other activities, so they have to divide the financial asset for various sectors. So in order to divide their financial resources for the development of various sectors, they have to first divide the money according to the need of each sector. So they have to conduct a census. So the information is also valuable for business marketing also. Now let's see what a sample survey is. From the terminology itself, we can understand that it's not that heavy or tedious task as that of sample survey. It uses a representative group of a given population. That is the main difference. In the census, we discussed that census is the collection of the data from the entire population. But here, sample surveys are done using only a subset of the population. Okay? So, in the last class, we have discussed the population and sample. If the data collection is taken from all population, it is called census. And if the data collection is done from only a sample, it is called sample survey. That's a simple way to memorize this terminology. It uses this 
representative group of a given population means it uses only a subset of the population from which we will collect the data to determine the characteristics of the entire population what may be whatever any characteristics in a sample survey the information is obtained only from a subset of population or a representative group of the given population sample survey is used when it is not possible or practical to conduct a census you know census is done from whole population so it will take some time and it is very tedious so sample survey is a simple method that is used when it is not possible or practical to conduct a census to count each individual of an entire population for example gallup polls may be familiar to you gallup polls and exit polls what is gallup poll an assessment of public opinion by the questioning of a representative sample we will collect or we will select a particular a group of individual from a whole population of some areas and we will collect the opinions from only that group as a representative sample of the entire population in that area that is what is called gallup polls typically as a basis for forecasting votes in an election what will be the result of the election we use gallup polls means taking opinion from only a sample of the entire population of a particular area maybe a constituency or maybe a district or a state or a country so what is exit poll exit poll is the opinion poll of people leaving a polling station so the sample of the population is the people leaving a particular polling station or a group of polling stations only not from entire country or entire state so asking how they voted we can infer uh, and reach a particular decision that this party will win like that exit poll will be taken so we have to differentiate between the census and sample surveys census usually carried out by the government of a country or international agency such as un because it is very tedious task it needs a lot of resource persons a lot of money and a lot of time so only larger bodies will conduct census but sample surveys are conducted by agencies who requires an information relating to a population maybe a newspaper or any other agencies or social organization etc data are reliable and accurate in the case of census because it's done very systematically and scientifically but here sample surveys may not be that perfect always a margin of error will be there in the data and census is very time consuming but sample survey is a quick process census is very expensive sample surveys are relatively inexpensive census involves a lot of manpower sample surveys require less manpower census is not very convenient but sample surveys are convenient so these are the two terminologies we discussed today census and sample survey